Hello, my name is Leah, and um, I've never done this before, so please bear with me while I'm after telling my story. Um, in 2006, I was pregnant with my youngest child, and what is supposed to be a time for celebration um, turned into an overwhelmingly emotional time due to my marriage ending. Um, and so much anxiety, stress, um, under like complete emotional roller coaster there, um, caused me to be naive when the doctor at the time had strongly suggested Asher as a form of birth control for me. Um, he claimed it was the best route. He lied. Within a week, I was in the hospital with debilitating migraines. Um, put in a dark room, put on IV, and um, that continued many times. Uh, started getting more regular. Uh, I had to see a neurologist in regards to it, um, receive CAT scans and such. And I told the doctors, I believe, that it was due to the Asher, and they brushed it off. And um, new symptoms coming up, I told the doctors the new symptoms, I would tell them every time, um, extreme abdominal pains, stabbing pains, um, rashes on my torso, um, just um, loss of balance, dizziness, extreme fatigue, um, many more symptoms and they all just kind of brushed them off as, um, it kind of made me feel like I was going mad like uh like i'm just making it up or something to get attention or or whatever and again i i would tell them i believe it was from the a-shore boat they uh, just again made me feel like i was just going crazy they constantly told me that it had nothing to do with the a-shore there was no relation so pretty much after so many doctor visits and the cost building up um and nobody believing me, nobody doing anything about it other than prescribing me migraine medicine and telling me to put on some cream for the rashes. Um, I just decided it was too costly. I was a single mom, I had to take care of my children and I could no longer afford to continue doctor visits for myself. It, it, my children had to come first. So I just decided that um, I would have to endure it. Um, suck it up and take the pain. Um, there was a lot of times that I wondered if um, my children would be better off without such a sickly mam. So um, they just try to hide it from the world. Um, some years later I did decide to go on Google and you know just search the symptoms I had and see if there was any correlation between my symptoms and the Asher and there was actually a link to a Facebook group with um, other women. It was a Facebook group for women who had uh, Asher implants. And I scrolled through the posts and um, basically broke down because there was hundreds of women who had the same symptoms as me. So I, I basically regained my confidence and realized I was not crazy. It, this is not just in my head, this is other women having the same problems. Um, so fast forward a little bit, 2016, um, there was uh, somebody had sent me a link to um, an attorney who was willing to take on the fight with the um, manufacturer of the Asher implants. And um, they were gonna fight for us. They, they believed us and they were gonna fight for us. Um, so on the 21st of September, I signed on with the law firm. Four years, um, I fought. August, uh, the beginning of August, 2020, um, this year, um, I received a phone call from the representatives of the law firm asking me if I had received uh, um, the surgery to get the Asher removed, but I told them I had not. They told me that since I had not, they could no longer represent me. 
So after being told for years that don't give up, um, continue fighting, I was given up on. Um, and it was devastating. On August 13th, I received an email just to confirm if um, there was any changes, if you know I was able to receive the removal. I was like, no, not within a week. Um, I explained that we did have the funds to get the removal done, but then COVID hit and we had to use those funds to pay for our bills. So no longer did we have any of the money that we had saved up for years to get it done. So they definitely removed me from the case. Um, a few days later, I happened to scroll to Google and see that uh, Bear had decided to settle on the Asher lawsuit and that broke me um, something fierce because 14 years I fought um, this battle all the pains everything I went through um, a failed relationship um, not being able to do things with my children other moms can do not being able to live a normal life like other people have um, it's you know you're told when you fight this you know this battle and you're in the last round and they kick you out before you can get that last knock in and so um I, I was very upset and I emailed the attorney that was the head of the case and she reached out to me and she told me that the settlement was as such those stipulations that if I could not get the issue removal done that I could not get on in on the settlement but I needed the settlement to afford the issue so it was a catch-22 but um, the attorney gave me one last hope she said she was gonna sign me back on but I have 30 days to schedule the issue removal surgery and to have the surgery completed and in order to be back into the fight. Um, the cost of the surgery is $7,900. The registration fee is 150. I live in Jacksonville, Florida and you have to travel to Raleigh, North Carolina. And because of the way the procedure is, there's only a few places that you can stay that's nearby the facility just in case anything does happen. So we not only have to pay for the surgery, we have to pay for the travel and the lodging as well. So <clears throat> that's what it's come to. And, um, you know, I've always raised that you never ask for anything. Like you're, you're an adult, you, you do things that you need to get done, you do it whatever way, whatever means necessary, you get it done. And you just, you don't ask people for anything. Um, but after fighting for 14 years and seeing it ripped away from me in a matter of moments, I'm at the point where I'm humbling myself to reach out for assistance and to make sure that my long fight was not in vain to make sure I get back in the round so that I can finish this fight and um, be one of the last ones standing. So um, thank you for taking the time to listen to my story and um, anybody, thank you. Just, um, this is hard for me, but thank you very much. <laughs>